She. If you want to have a nice simple DPS meter and enemy unit frame in Final Fantasy without having to watch a 15 fucking minute long video, then follow these steps. First thing you want to do is go on the Advanced Combat Tracker download page. Link is in the description below. Download Advanced Combat Tracker Setup. Open your download folder. Right click the app, go to Properties and check Unblock and hit OK. Open ACT and install it wherever you like. Hit Install. Press Close, go to your desktop. Right click the ACT shortcut, go to Properties. Compatibility and tick run this program as an administrator and hit OK. Now you want to open the file. Hit next on the startup wizard and let it load. So click on download and enable plugin. Click OK. Press next. Press yes to that pop up. Press next. Make sure auto version check is ticked. Click close. Now click on the plugins tab in ACT. Hit get plugins. Let it load. Once it's finished loading, select FF14 plus others overlay plugin, hit download and enable. Click OK and let it load. Once it's done loading, you can close this window, click on overlay plugin.dll, hit new, type in whatever name you like, click on the preset drop down and choose Kagoru, and hit OK. Alright, now you want to go to your start menu, type in firewall, open your firewall settings, go to inbound rules, new rule. Click next, click on browse and locate your ACT file, click on advanced combat tracker, if for whatever reason you have a 32-bit processor, click on ACT86. Ok now just click next, next again, make sure all these are ticked, next, name it whatever you want, and hit finish and you're done. Alright now if you want to use the enemy unit frames, which is under this plugin here, click show FF14 overlay, and this bar will pop up if you have a mob targeted. Alright to customize the bar you go to plugins, FF14 overlay settings, you can tick this and drag around this bar. Um, it's a bit dodgy, so if it doesn't work, you can actually just input the X and Y axis. So I do uh, 1576, 2019. So you can also change the length and width of the bar by using these two boxes here. I change the size to 280. Um, I tick hide name, it's all just personal preference. You can go to change font. I go Arial narrow 12. Hit OK. Alright, now for your DPS meter, you can drag this down to wherever you want. Go to settings and you can customize it however you, you like or you can import someone else's settings. Um, I linked mine in the description below. Import, yes. Now to test it out, you want to go hit a mob. After you hit a mob, the data will be displayed. Um, and you can view different tabs of data, so you can see heals per second, heals total, taking damage for tanks. If you want to see more data, you go down to tabs. You can customize the, the columns for each. So the configured columns here are the columns that you'll see on the top of the meters. So you can configure them how you want. If you want to see crit hit percent or direct hit percent, you can drag them down there. Hit save and they'll be displayed in your meters. The column names aren't showing up now, but they'll show up after you get in combat. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, you can do it for each tab. It's not really much to discuss now. It's all personal preference how you want to do it. If you have any questions, let me know.